What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video, we're gonna be watching The Flash Season 7 Gag Reel bloopers outtakes. I've done a couple of these in the past. I think they release one of these every season or almost every season. Sometimes I do videos on it, sometimes I don't. It really depends like the mood that I'm in. And after this weekend's somewhat disappointing fandom, with a couple of exceptions. Uh, I think I need something funny in my life. So that's why I'm making this video today. So hopefully you guys are in the mood for a laugh or two because I certainly am. I haven't seen this yet. Um, I watched like the first 30 seconds just to make sure there was no uh, copyrighted music in it. I don't think the song is copyrighted. Fingers crossed there. Um, anyway, we're going to watch this whole thing and I'm going to put a link to this in the info box from the channel that I'm watching it on. So if you guys want to go and watch it after we're done, because I may pause it, Obviously, I'm going to be talking over parts of it. So if you want to go watch it yourself, you can. That's why the link is there. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch this. And I'm hoping to laugh quite a bit because, again, this weekend's fandom was a bit much. Um, more, We'll talk more about that on the after party this week. Anyway, uh, here we go. Flash Season 7 Gag Reel Blooper Reel Outtakes. Let's go. I really hope this song is not copyrighted. After the weekend, I had with copyrights. Please don't be copyrighted. That's quite a face. Then let's do this one last time. <laughs> I'm worried about him. Worried about him. I'm going to miss him, honestly. Okay, I'm going to kill you now, Flash. This way you can avoid the wrath of the Cronut. Cronark, not Cronut. I've never had a Cronut. You know? <laughs> actually, I've heard they're really good. Never had one. Blasted me with her gauntlet ever since she blasted me. Ooh, wait a minute. This is like, um, I didn't know that they, okay. So when they were filming, like doing these scenes where you see Caitlin and Frost together, I didn't realize that there was a stunt double standing in Caitlin's spot. Like I always thought it was just green screen and there was no one there, but I guess. I mean, this makes sense. How did I not know this? Well, I, I don't say blasted twice. I'm so sorry, Celeste. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Warm me up with some hot soup. It was so good. What, what was it? It was Molly and Tani. <laughs> mm, I don't think that was it. <laughs> what is it? Molly Anthony? No, not Molly Anthony. <laughs> Mulligatawny, dear. Mulligatawny. <laughs> you wanted to frame my nipples like that? Is that good? Oh my gosh. Like, of course, Grant would make a comment like this. <laughs> I think that looks great. I like it. Okay. It looks like you got a third nipple right in the middle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your vitals have stabilized. I mean, no, what is it? What do I say before vitals have stabilized? Oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> So look, so since you messed that up, he has to put that back on. I wonder on set, like, how often they have, like, a prosthetic or something, and they do something wrong, and they have to redo the shot. So I wonder if directors, like, record a shot with, with the camera just on whatever it is that they're doing, so that when they actually take it off, they have that one shot to use any way they want, instead of having to redo the whole scene. Because that in that shot, when he pulls it off, like, it's him and Caitlin in frame, which means he'd have to redo it every single time. Maybe so, but Central City doesn't need parents right now. I love that suit. It needs heroes. I didn't hear anything. Did y'all hear anything? I'm guessing something happened on set. They're firing at super speed. Synaptic. Synaptic. I make the same mistake. Every single tick. You see, this little sphere amplifies kinetic energy. Ready? The quantum computer can't kick. So I will say this: like this is, if you go back, if you like, I'm gonna date myself here on this. I mean, you guys already know I'm really old, but Star Trek had a similar thing where there's so many scenes of actors like trying to talk about the stuff that they're given in the script that sounds super technological. It's a lot of it's made up stuff. They'll take and throw like five different words together to make another word. And so I can imagine, like, if you think about the people on set, like Carlos, Caitlin, even Barry to some degree, they probably have like the craziest words 
to try and sound out and kick and use it. on set. Kick, kick. It's probably yeah. crazy. Say, it's wild. I analyze the footage from the live interview. <laughs> this is me. Like literally, like I've said this before, but when I go to start a video, um, I get tongue twisted like sometimes 25 times within the first line of the video and I have to keep restarting. And it's really frustrating. And I throw stuff around. Yeah, I'll say, I analyzed the, the the footage from, you remember the last episode that we did? <laughs> that was meta. Factoring in geographical analytics. Hit him again. Oh, oh wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> That was funny, which reminds me, I should have my fan on. Oh my. We did it. What about What? Oh. That's got to be, I mean, obviously there's an emergency happening and you wouldn't go, well, you know what, this emergency screwed up our set. I'm so angry about it. But it's got to be annoying when you're like almost done with the scene and that happens. That's the joys of filming in the middle of a city um, without a closed set. You know the hockey team here? Yeah, those are the Canadians. The Montreal Canadians? Yeah, they're right there. No, <laughs> oh my. Ooh. That's this guy. <laughs> what happened? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your mind belongs to me now. So just let go. Oh. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that a twerk? Was that a twerk? Let me, I'm gonna slow that down. Playback speed. Okay, that's not a chalk or a dab. That's not a chalk or a dab. But I believe we have a twerk coming up. Come on, there it is. That is... <laughs> Twerkalicious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's almost a chalk. It's hard, by the way. More of a unit's hard. You know it's going to up our home insurance, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so getting drunk. I mean, that house has been destroyed so many times. How are, you doing? How are you doing that? That's too oh. funny. What in the world? <laughs> what is going on here? Reminds me of the you after party the when I'm so confused on what's happening. <laughs> These are the purchases you made. You need to pick it each week. Yeah. We need to dig deep. Dig deep yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need to dig deeper. <laughs> Training energy itself like they would with oh, that makes me laugh so much. I get so tongue-tied behind the scenes. It just reminds me of making videos. They'll take this out and post. They'll make me sound cooler. Just do that through all of our yeah, some free time to take care of my lady. <laughs> Sorry, that was like really, Sorry. really good. <laughs> <laughs> you got what? You got the plate? what is this look? Ultrasonic placenta beam. <laughs> I mean, if he said that, I'd probably be like, yeah, you're right. It is, a, it is ultrasonic placenta. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. Get in the van out. Get in the van out. Oh wow, that was cool right there. Um, that right there, the shot with uh Fraser. 
That's very similar to what they're doing with Despero. I think they've started doing that with a lot of the um, bigger characters now. Maybe they've been doing it all along, but I thought it was like a little ball on a stick, but now they actually have the, the cutouts of those characters. Okay, look, like story time, very quick story time right here where he is shooing away the geese or, or whatever these are. We have these in my neighborhood, like two dozen of them that walk up and down the street and anytime you're leaving the neighborhood, it is so hard to get around them because they don't care what you're trying to do. I, they don't, I think they're probably Canadian geese. And why they're here in my state, I don't know, but they just do not care what you're doing, where you're going, what time it is. They're going to take their time and they're so slow when they walk. End of story time. <laughs> Get Nirvana. Get Nirvana. Get Nirvana. Oh my. I want the surreal of us finding marks for the last seven years. Mark, where's my mark? Right here? Found it. Shut up, Phil. You're not helping. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, I see yours I got it I got it I don't see mine there. yours is around there in that area <laughs> don't take mine <laughs> off I got it, oh I got it. how cool did we look just then really good yeah, really good six dingo take one oh, dingo Oh, that sounds like Pagey. Is that Pagey? Hold on, hold on. Is this Pagey? Is this Pagey? That sounds just like you, Pagey. I swear that sounds like Pagey on the after party. I have superstition. Whatever. I feel like this is a <laughs> oh, they look like they have so much fun behind the scenes. I wish it translated like all that positive energy translated into some of the episodes from season seven because I had such a hard time in season seven. I probably would have enjoyed these behind the scenes more than the cringy comedy they manufacture for the episodes. This should be a delight. Yes. That was gorgeous. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. You suck. <laughs> Adrian, I need some hips now, too. I can't believe Tom did that. I thought a stunt person did that. I honestly did. I thought the stunt person did the role and then Tom just laid on the ground. Just doing the transformation. Just the first step. You know, it's funny. This is almost better than the entire season seven this series of bloopers is, is for me more entertaining than almost all of it I, I feel very good about this clip here clips here oh my gosh <laughs> You know, it reminds me back in season one when they would do the, the wind effect to blow things off the table. Um, and then if they had to redo that scene, I guess they had to pick all that stuff back up again. Pretty funny. So I guess that's the end of it. All right. Um, that was pretty hilarious. I actually enjoyed that quite a bit, and I'm glad that I watched it. Uh, very funny stuff. Much more entertaining to me than most of season seven. So if you would like to check out the whole thing yourself without my commentary, without me talking over it and pausing it and rewinding it, uh, the link is going to be down in the info box. So head over and check that out. 
And uh, I would definitely love to hear your opinions on it. So after you've watched it for yourself, or if you want to just leave a comment now, go down below and leave a comment and let me know. I think the cast, like they were having a great time and that stood out to me right away. I was like, you know what? They're having so much fun and uh, made me want to have fun with them as well. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get out of here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the like if you uh, want to help grow the channel because that's it's the way that it helps. Like helps help, like. This is a behind the scenes clip here. Blue, 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 blue. Hitting the like button helps the channel grow. There we go. Look, I had my own blooper in a blooper video. Uh, leave a comment below and hit the join button if you want to support the channel another way. November is a big month. A lot of great stuff coming for Team Eric members and the channel in general. So subscribe. And if you'd like to hit the Team Eric uh, join button to become part of Team Eric. I, am, I think this clip affected my mind because now I'm tripping over my words. Anyway, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video and in this week's After Party. See you live. Take care.